Welcome in folks to the Fantasy Alarm tutorial series. I'm Rick Wolf, president of Fantasy Alarm, and we're here today to talk to you about the lineup generator. Here's our lineup generator for NFL, and uh, we're taking a look at that. And the main purpose of our lineup generator is to produce a single lineup that you can play in single entry tournaments or in multi tournaments for cash or for, for tournament level um, stuff in either big tournaments or make sure that you double up uh, on the cash side. So we use, ver we use 33 metrics right now. Every, every piece of information from projections to information about how um, players play against certain teams, against certain uh, defensive players. Um, and then we also lead in the editorial information. So our optimal lineups, our rankings, our playbook, our watch list are all included in, uh, in the lineup generator as the week goes on so that uh, you can get the max, the best information available from both humans and from computers mixed together in order to make sure that you get the best possible lineup. All right, so let's talk about the features of this. First, we have our scoring systems. So of course you can select your scoring system, whichever one you want. We're, we're gonna play on uh, DraftKings today. Okay, so we, got, we, we loaded up our DraftKings and, uh, and now, we can, now we can see, here's the games ribbon. This shows the different slates for DraftKings uh, that are so far available. I'm sure there'll be 10 or 15 more of these as we get rolling. Um, and then here are the different games. So here, you know, let's say we want to make sure we exclude, uh, we exclude the Patriots. So we go find the New England Patriots. And we take them out. And you saw Tom Brady disappear from the list in the draft in the DraftKings list there. So and he doesn't appear here anymore. And if we put him back, then he will appear there. So there's Tom Brady bouncing in and out. Uh, and you can you can deselect as many games as you want, and it will include only the teams that you leave uh, there. Um, but that's the uh, that's the games ribbon. That games ribbon is on many many of our tools. Uh, just something you should get used to if you're going to use our tools. And then positions allows you to flip between the different positions of who's available. You can sort by a couple different things here. Value is a very interesting and good sort there. You can see because of that value rating, you know, Rex Burkhead will end up in a bunch of um, lineups because his price is low compared to uh, his projected value. So, and then, so you can lock certain players. Let's, uh, let's lock us a Melvin Gordon. Uh, and let's lock us a wide receiver, uh, DeAndre Hopkins, who's going to go nuts against the New England defense with his quarterback, Deshaun Watson. Then we can, we can generate. It produced a, a nice lineup, zero money left, perfectly set up. Notice the two tight ends here. This largely happens because the value on DraftKings and FanDuel especially is in that area. You can see the value of 3,100 for an OJ Howard. Um, so if, if indeed you want to not have a flex be a tight end, you can go here and select add flex and I could take one of the players that I locked and I can just make sure that I lock them into the flex. Now Melvin Gordon's locked into flex and when I generate the lineup, it will produce me two other running backs. And then, you know, I, I'm sure I won't get another tight end in that spot. Um, it doesn't make the lineup better or worse. Actually, a large number of the DraftKings lineups last year that won it all or won uh, big prizes had a tight end in the flex. And we've done lots and lots of work on making sure that our algorithm is right in that area. So we, we stand by it. But for those of you who don't want that, we know that's a feature that uh, is important to you. Okay, so you can see your excluded players, like if you had any. So you exclude a couple players. They're here in the excluded list. You can put them back. I want to put Jarvis Landy back in the list. Um, you can move guys in and out wh wherever you want there. You can search directly for players. Uh, it's a native search, so it'll search anything. So if I search HOU, it'll show me only the Houston players. So that's a great feature for us to have. It's not just a player search. It's an any text search. Um, so you can, easily, uh, you can easily search people using that feature. We also have a filter feature, which allows you to say, I want only projected points that are greater than uh, 11, greater than 11, and I want only salaries that are less than 61, right? And then that will show you, filter only the players here that you can see, and also then use the same players only in your lineup. I'm not sure at this level whether a lineup is possible, but um, pretty sure that we can generate a lineup there from that. Okay, and then you have only players who are projected for more than nine points, except for defenses. 
and then you have only you have only um, you have only players in that in that range. So now for saved lineups, these are lineups that I happen to save. So you can manage your saved lineups. You can manage all your lineups from here. We'll be adding an export very shortly um, for everybody to be able to deal with that. But you can see you can you know, I can just delete them if I want. Um, you know, and 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 or um, be able to export them, and or be able to read them from the screen. Um, so you have the ability to do some things with some saved lineups there, and uh, and then um, and then that's the section there. That's how you use the lineup generator, and I think that's just about everything. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, we've spent a lot of time bringing in a lot of different data in order to be able to make these lineups. Um, we don't generate. Uh, 500 lineups yet we will be generating between 10 and 20 soon we probably won't generate any more than that because the variance and combinations of that uh, allow us to not think we're making good lineups um, we think there are probably only you know 18 to 20 good lineups that we can make from from a generation like this with the data that we have so uh, we don't want to give you bad lineups so we will be making we'll, we'll be adding that feature um, in the short run probably about a week so um, hopefully you'll uh, you'll you'll check that out and this has been the lineup generator from Fantasy Alarm, and I'm Rick Wolf, the president.